Hi and welcome back to the channel. I've got out, it's been over a week now since I've had the accident. So I'm on my painkillers, I'm on anti-inflammatories. I went and saw the um, physio, chiropractor, and he said I'm too inflamed to do anything too, so he's gonna give me another week or so before he has a look at me. So I just, I just need to get out. He's told me I can't sit around, I need to move. So I've come to the local park. I'm gonna get out the military Trangier kit and we're gonna do a brew. That's all I can bring myself to at the moment, but I thought I'd show you the burner now I've done the modification to it and so you can see it on video. So we're in a lovely park, not far from my house. I'll give you a look. There's the big um, river, pleasure boats and stuff. It's a lovely area, so let's get set up and get a brew on. Every time I think I'm gonna wake up back in the jungle. Every time I think I'm gonna wake up back in the jungle. This, this kit uses the SVEA stove. So it's like a Trangia stove, but it's a bigger version. So we'll have a look at that. And this is the one I modified. So it hasn't got any water in there with a meth, so it will set up my stuff. So I'm gonna add a little bit of water to it before I start it. And we'll see how it runs. Gonna put a little bit of water in there because it makes it harder to light as well. As I'm just doing a brew, I'll just be using this container at the top. Let's try and light that. lit so let's just watch it will bloom out it's difficult to see in daylight I've added the water to it because I don't want soot in, which makes it a bit more harder to burn, but it's cleaner. I don't know if you can see any flames, but it isn't the warmest of days, it's seven degrees outside. I'm going to put the pan on and we'll have a look at it in a minute. It's starting to really get going, so it's probably started already. let that run for a bit and then I'll bring you back to it so you can see it actually had a wave you can still see it that is during daylight it's not a lot I can do to make it darker but I'm looking forward to an hot drink and sitting in the park for a bit the walk here wasn't too bad but I'm on a lot of drugs so I'm hoping when they wear down later on when I get home I don't start really hurting but I've been told I have to move because you won't heal if you're just sitting around, the muscles need that movement. So I'm going to enjoy bringing you back when this starts to get going. It's just been a few minutes, and now we've got a nice heat coming out of there. It's such a shame to waste today with this lovely weather. The sun is out. It's not much cloud. So I thought I have to I have to try and get out. Looking forward to this. It's nearly boiling. And then um 
Gonna have my lemon and ginger tea. Herbal tea is always good for you when you're not feeling great. Got some bird action down there, be going down there later to have a look down the side of the dike. There's a lot of people about jogging, getting out, which they should be. I'll take you over to the um, sign to show you where we are. There's a mill over that way, just over there, and it's called Pan Mill. It's in the Doomsday Book. It's old. It's about a thousand years old, isn't it? It's lovely. This is where I come and cycle with um, Nathan when we go cycling. We stop down here on these benches. ready for our tea bag to go in there. I can get that in there I believe. Oh, bending is a pain. Feels like spring. I don't want that to be a rolling boil, so I'm going to take it off and then show you how great this set is for take it, for putting out the burner because you don't have to get your hand in there and burn yourself. There's, you can lift the whole windshield up. rubber ring in there we want to remove it take it out before you cap it otherwise you melt it Too hot for me, so a bit cold in there. Oh, I'm just gonna sit here and enjoy for a bit, and then I'll sip on that. Enjoy the nature. Be thankful that I can get out and I can walk. That's what I'm happy about. Do my neck exercises. I need to completely 
keep moving. Got to get better for summer, got to get better for spring. Don't forget to put your rubber back in. Bending hurts, but I've been told I have to do it. You've got to keep moving. If you haven't seen this system, there's pot stands inside, they fold. So they just fold down. And then that one will fold down, but they have to go in a certain way. So that one will fold down, that one will fold down. And they hold the pot up above so the burner can give enough room to burn from. This is the windshield, so you have your openings for the wind. Your handle would come down in there. This is made of stainless steel. They do a stainless steel complete set, but I've only got the aluminium one. My whole set's aluminium. So here's your main pot. Aluminium that sits in there. You get these hooks so you can hang it, but they're doing another remake of these pots, so you don't get the hook on the handle. It's just it's, they're remaking them. And in the cup, it will sit in this way around, so there's a lid. If you're putting stuff and boiling in this, you can make a lid. This burn is nearly ready to be capped, but it's still warm, so I'm going to leave it for a bit. Thanks for coming along, I'm going to sit here for just a little while and then I'll make my way off home. Make my way off home and then get all this packed up. So I just wanted to get out and just thought I'd make a video of it. So that's what I do. It's not much that I'm not cooking and I know that there's not a lot of activity going on but I just had to get out and just, I'm on the mend, just say that. I'm not as bad as I was when it happened. I am mending, so it's slow but sure. So, thanks for watching. Hopefully you enjoyed it and saw the military set if you're not sure about how they work. And I'll see you on the next one. Thanks a lot. Bye-bye.